Hey y'all. I'm gonna do another uh, lesson today. This one is uh, Old Man from the Harvest album. What I'm gonna do is, since I haven't played it since uh, I recorded it, I don't know when that was, a couple of years ago, um, I'm just gonna play along with him and we'll do like we've done some of the other recent ones and just break it up into little pieces. But um, it's in standard tuning. I'm pretty sure this is standard pitch. Um, and I'll just go along with it little bits at a time. The, before I start, I'll show you the little intro part, and then we'll just roll with that. But you uh, take a D shape, and this is a shape that shows up uh, regularly, I guess, in uh, Neil Young stuff and uh, Cries of Stills Nash stuff, um, where you take a D and bring it up to move it up and down in the positions. But one thing that uh, Neil will do to make it a little bit uh, out of the ordinary is leave the high E string open so you get that little dissonance with, which is the same leave that high E open for this one little intro chord it's the same chord from uh, oh, to be long, sugar mountain. you know it's that chord and it also shows up the America Express song so uh, you take a, a D, move it up to here to what, what is that, fifth fret, and have the E string open. So it's just those two, the G at five and the B at six. And you go, uh, Neil has a kind of a rhythm that he does with his picking hand. And he actually is like a metronome with that right uh, arm, if you ever listen. Um, but you, you do kind of... So hammer on the G string, right? Regular D, you know, hammer on the high E. So we'll we'll start with that intro and kind of just start with uh, till it really changes. So after this uh, intro part, do a few of those, right? So it goes from a D to what is that? F major seven. So it's the high E is open, and it's a regular F without the high E. You know, if you're playing an F like that, um, and you're hammering off. G string. So it goes from that F major 7 to a C. With your middle finger you're hammering on the D and then the G. And then back to the to the D for an open G string. G. Same thing the second time, except instead of going down to a G, it goes back up to that F major 7 the second time through. So it'll start like this in the intro proper after this, after this stuff. So. Wait a 
it's like that's the second time through. The first time through it does it. And then he starts with the vocal on that D chord. So the, the verses are the, the same thing a few times through D, F major 7, C, G, back to D, F major 7, C, back to F major 7 this time, and then back to D, I think it goes through that twice, then when it gets to the, like a coin that won't get tossed. So that, that part goes a little bit different. So it goes from D to a C. Toss, roll, and then goes C, D, F major 7, G. For that very last one before it goes into the chorus. So it, it would go D. Like a stone that I don't get tossed. Or a coin. Don't <laughs> get tossed. Oh, what is it? No. D. <laughs> major 7 to G. Right, so that's G, E at the 3rd fret. So let's walk up the A string, 0, 2, 3, to open D string. So after you do the... That's D. how he does it and I don't even know if he does it the same either, each time but so you're on and off the high E string you know play around with it with your suspensions and stuff. A major or sorry that's A minor 7 first fret on the B third fret on the D with the G open and that one's an E minor 7 so it's a regular E minor A and D at the second and then the B string at the third repeats the cycle again and again. Um, so I, I, I probably the right hand, or if you're playing this way, <laughs> the left hand, but the, the picking hand, strumming hand, is probably uh, just as vital as the fretting hand because you really kind of got to give it you know, that kind of rhythm to it. Uh, but have a go at it, and if you have any trouble, send me a note, but that's the whole song, that's all the parts of it. And just listen to it a few times and play along through, get the order on it. Good luck. <laughs>